Welcome to the next generation of 3D printing. Get ready, because what you're about to see is not available on any commercially available desktop 3D printer. Until now. Unlocking all kinds of material combinations that have never been seen before, we are proud to show you Triflex. For our final year capstone project, we chose to build a triple nozzle 3D printer for UBC MEMS Lab, intending to print soft actuators. Soft actuators require highly complicated geometry that cannot be easily manufactured. They require very flexible, rubbery material that can inflate and deflate due to differences in air pressure. 3D printing this kind of part on a normal 3D printer poses a challenge because complicated overhanging structures and internal cavities need special dissolvable support material, and without it, there will be significant losses in quality. We solved that problem by Outfitting one of our nozzles with a dissolvable material called PBA, which is a material commonly found in school glue. This material can be printed like any other, and it is used as a support layer that allows us to print steep overhanging features with impeccable quality. The support layer is then dissolved away in water, leaving a perfect part. 3D printed soft actuators require custom machine because when printing complex flexible parts with rigid skeletons, there is a distinct lack of options on the 3D printing marketplace. There are dual extrusion machines that can print either flexible or rigid, along with a dissolvable support, and there are triple extruder machines, but they are limited to the same material and they can only do three different colors. Additionally, flexible materials require a lot more care when printing, so normal extruders just won't produce good results. We'll get back to this later. Now, it wasn't as easy as simply slapping on a nozzle and calling it a day. This kind of 3D printer is highly custom and was only possible due to many hours of design, building, calibration, and testing. We didn't feel like reinventing the wheel, so instead of creating a new 3D printer from scratch, we modified the existing CR10 V2 from Creality. Our hardware modification was a complete rework to the x-axis to feature three independent stepper motors which control the x-axis motion of the three extruders. We mounted each hot end to a water jet cut aluminum plate, and we had a custom mount machined for the central flexion extruder. We also designed and 3D printed custom mounts for the stepper motors and belt pulleys. The rest of the parts used in this build were off the shelf. To go into more detail on our final design, our central extruder is the Flexion extruder, and it was designed by the inventor of Ninja Flex filament, which is a flexible printing material. The Flexion is specifically designed for printing flexible materials, and features a novel tension adjustment wheel, as well as a brush to constantly clean out uh, the extruder teeth. It also guides the filament perfectly, leaving no chance of buckling anywhere along the filament path. This results in a very reliable extruder that has completed 36 hour long prints without a single issue. We also completely rewired the printer. We changed the controller board to the Duet 2 Wi-Fi with the Duex 5 expansion. And we did this because we needed our printer to have 9 stepper motors, but the uh, original board that the printer came with only supported 5. The Duet 2 is designed for custom 3D printers, and there are many options available when setting the firmware. This allowed us to create custom tool changing macros, which are special commands for each of the three extruders, to ensure that they never crash or interfere with each other during printing. And all of this combines to form the Triflex. So things never work out at first. It took many hours of troubleshooting before the first print would start properly. And then after the printer started moving as we expected, it took multiple rounds of calibration to ensure that the nozzles would perfectly share the same coordinate system. All of the nozzle offsets were calibrated by an initial rough guess, and then we measured the deviation between the actual and expected position to fine tune each tool head so they all aligned. When all three tool heads were calibrated on every axis, we were ready to begin the real prints. The model we started with is the infamous Benji. 
It is a boat that is challenging for 3D printers and has every kind of difficult feature. We use these features to identify flaws in print quality. As you can see, we did multiple trials, and each time we found improvements that could be made. The next test was to see if the 3D printer could actually create a functional soft actuator. The initial results are promising as the TPU bonded very well to the PLA, and it has a high degree of flexibility. You can see the internal cavities that are there to allow pressurization. Unfortunately, the printed model was not airtight and so we couldn't pressurize it, but we expect this is because the TPU was slightly under extruding, so small gaps were appearing. There's also the possibility of applying a flexible coating to the final print, which should fill any small holes. Moving on, our third test was a stress test that involved all three materials, flexible TPU in grey, rigid PLA in black, and dissolvable PVA, which is pale yellow. This print is uh, extremely challenging because it requires complex internal support structures, as well as accurate alignment of all three nozzles. As you can see, the print completed successfully, taking 36 hours in total to complete. There are some issues with stringing and oozing, but this is because the printing parameters still need some fine-tuning. Our final test is the most complicated, and this is a model of the very cool and very rare Tiger Tree Frog. Triflex was able to successfully print the model with exceptional quality. As you can see, there were some whisper-thin strings on the printed part, but they were easy to remove during post-processing. And so these stress tests should demonstrate that our printer is capable of printing essentially anything, no matter how complicated. This was a very challenging but enjoyable project, and we learned a lot about 3D printers along the way. We'd like to thank the professors at UBC for giving us guidance, and we'd like to thank you for watching this till the end. This was Team 16, Triflex. Thanks for watching.